Welcome to today's class. In this class, we are discussing uh, two more problems. These two problems are with different functions compared to what we discussed already on the previous classes. Okay. First problem is all written on the board. The problem is find the find f of x is equal to root of 1 minus cos x for x greater than 0 less than 2 pi in a Fourier series. And hence evaluate 1 by not 1.3 1 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 etc. I want to evaluate this value that you know that how to evaluate a dead use from the Fourier series. Once you give a particular value of x then automatically we get the required dead use part. Here instead of dead use they are asking what's the value of this series. Now first we have to find out what's a Fourier series for the given function. First, we have to consider what is given. Given is actually given f of x is equal to root of 1 minus cos x over the interval 0 to 2 pi. Okay, over the interval what actually 0 to 2 pi. Now this is a one of the uh, important problem. Now how to do it here? Now here this is not a, a social function. Suppose you construct a Fourier series. What is my overall interval here? 0 to 2 pi. It's referred to the which case? First case what we discuss in the class 0 to 2L. That implies what's the value of L is 2 pi is equal to 2L. That implies what is L is? L is pi, that implies n pi x by L is nothing but what? n x. Pi pi cancel. Now, it's referred to the first case. We can't go for even around. Now, but before going to construct the Fourier series, first try to simplify for this because uh, integration of root of 1 minus cos x is not easy. Therefore, you already know that what is 1 minus cos 2 x? 1 minus cos 2 x is nothing but 2 sin square x. This is a fundamental formula. First, try to remove the square root, then easy to evaluate. If how to remove the square? First, try to express 1 minus cos x in terms of the square of the function. For this implies what is 1 minus cos x? Cos 2x half of that. Cos x half of that is sine square of x by 2. Now, the given function can also be written as root into sine square of x by 2. What we get? root 2 into sine of x by 2. Now sine of x by 2 is equal to evaluate. Now I have to leave it as itself. Now I have to write what is Fourier series uh, for the function Fourier series for f of x equal to what root of 1 minus cos x over for the interval 0, 2 pi is I go for first case therefore f of x is equal to what actually a naught by 2 plus summation in ranging from 1 to infinity the a n cos of n x you already simplify that n pi x by l is n x plus summation in ranging from 1 to infinity b n sin n x where what is a naught formula 1 by l 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 l f of x dx what is a n formula 1 by pi integration of 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx with respect to x and also similarly what is the formula for a b n is 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin of nx with respect to x. Yeah. Next, we have to find out 1 by 1 for a naught. Instead of taking root of uh, whatever the 1 minus cos x, I have to take what's a function root 2 into sin of x by 2. First, I have to find out a naught. a naught equals 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi. What's a function? Root 2 into 
sin of x by 2 with respect to x or dx. Root 2 is a constant, root 2 by pi. What is integration of sin minus cos of x by 2 divided by quotient of x? What is quotient of x is 1 by 2. What's the limit? 0 to 2 pi. While applying the limit, I have to keep the constant outside. What's the constant here? Uh, 2. This 1 by 2 comes in numerator. 2 into root 2 divided by pi minus sign also. I have to keep it outside. Apply the upper limit. What's the upper limit? 2 pi. Cos of 2 pi divided by 2 minus cos 0. What is uh, 2 to cos pi? What is cos pi is minus 1. You already know that this is nothing but minus 2 into root 2 divided by pi of minus 1 minus 1. Cos 0 is 1, cos pi is minus 1. What we get minus 2 minus into minus plus. So finally we get what is my a naught is plus 4. 2 into minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. 2 into 2 is 4. Minus into minus plus 4 root 2 by pi is the answer for a naught. Okay. Next try to find out which value a n value. Yeah. While finding a n value, I have to take care for this. For now, the formula for a n is 1 by pi, 0 to 2 pi. Yeah. While writing uh, this function, root 2 is a constant, keep it outside. Sin of x by 2 into cos of n x with respect to x. Now, what, 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 how to proceed here? I go for transformation formula. First, try to simplify. The transformation formula for this is 2, or what about that, sin a cos b, sin a cos b, 2 sin a cos b. It's nothing but sin of a plus b plus sin, sin of a minus b. What is my a here? x by 2. What is my b is? nx. What is a plus b? a plus b is nothing but. That's uh, very easy. Now I have to x by 2 plus nx. x is common of plus n into x. And then a minus b. What is a minus b is nothing but half minus n into x. Just take x as a common factor. Now here we don't have a 2, therefore multiply and divide by 2, therefore 1, 2 comes in denominator. Okay. Therefore root 2 divided by 2 pi. Are you clear now? Multiply and divide by 2 because 2 sin a cos b. For what we get? 0 to 2 pi. Now what's the function we have? The function is sin of a plus b means half plus n into x plus sin of a minus b. What is a minus b? Half minus n into x and then with respect to x. In the next step, root 2 divided by 2 pi of integration of sin. What is integration of sin? Minus cos of half plus n into x divided by quotient of x. So what's quotient of x is half plus n. The limit is what actually? 0 to Again, integration of sin is minus cos of half minus n into x divided by quotient of x is half minus n. What's the limit? 0 to 2 pi. I told number of times before going to apply the limit, observe what happened whenever having a trigonometric function sin or cos, first verify that what happened in the corresponding limit. Now, I to verify the corresponding limit. Now what happened? Now first I have to take cos of what's the upper limit pi? Cos of half plus n into 2 pi. Yeah, take 2 pi is inside the bracket. 2 pi by 2. Or what we get actually 2 pi plus uh, 2 pi by 2 is pi plus 2 n pi. What is cos of pi plus theta minus cos theta? Cos of pi plus theta, you already know that cos of pi plus theta is nothing but minus cos theta. Therefore, minus cos of 2n pi. 
we already know that what's the value of 2n pi is minus 1 to the power of 2n that is nothing but 1 we get minus 1 similarly cos of of minus n into 2 pi now once you take 2 pi inside the bracket we get pi minus 2n pi what is cos of pi minus theta cos of pi minus theta is minus cos theta cos of 2n pi we get this also must be equal to same minus 1 okay fine in the next step i do substitute upper and lower limit because in both the term is not equal to 0 for upper and lower limit while applying upper and lower limit better to keep the constant outside minus half plus n apply the upper limit cos of half plus n into 2 pi after the simplification what we get minus 1 minus cos 0 what is cos 0 is minus 1 minus 1 by half minus n as a constant now we are at to keep it outside i think uh, is clear now minus now here apply the upper limit once you apply the upper limit cos of half minus n into 2 pi is minus 1 cos 0 is also minus 1 we get minus 2 minus into minus plus minus into minus plus we take 2 as a common factor from these two term already 2 is there outside is cancelled we get root 2 pi pi yeah, 2 2 uh, uh, 2 2 cancel yeah once you take 2 then 2 2 cancel what's the remaining now 1 by half plus n plus 1 by half minus n okay now here before moving to the next step half i am going to simplify take 2 in the denominator LCM, 1 plus 2 n this is 1 minus 2 n 2 comes in numerator this 2 comes in numerator, both the numerator having to take it outside, what we get actually 2 root 2 divided by pi of 1 by 1 plus 2n plus 1 by 1 minus 2n, 1 minus 2n, okay. In the next step, you take LCM 2 root 2 divided by pi of, take LCM or LCM 1 plus 2n into 1 minus 2n what we get 1 minus 2n plus 1 plus 2n what we get actually plus 2n minus 2n is cancelled the remaining is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 no 2 into 2 is 4 in the next step this is nothing but 4 root 2 by pi into 1 by 1 plus 2n into 1 minus 2n. Yeah, I told number of times before moving to the next step. Whether is 2 for n is equal to 1, 2, 3. How can you know that? Pick the denominator factor. What are the factor? 1 plus 2n equal to 0. One factor. Another one is this is implies what we get n is equal to minus half. Minus half not included in a summation 1 to infinity. If I move to 1 minus 2n equal to 0. That implies n is equal to half. Half also is not included because our summation start from 1 to infinity. Therefore, even though n is equal to half, we get 0. That's the, uh, what about this fact? No, 1 by 0 is what? Infinity. But n is equal to, what's the n when a set of positive integers start from 1, 2, 3, etc. Therefore, we can't, we are, we are not considered fractional value. Therefore, confidently write this is true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3. Please observe cable here. Before moving to the next step, first try to know whether an is true for an is equal to 1, 2, 3. How can you know that? Pick the denominator factor of n equal to 0. Once equal to 0, 1 plus 2 n, we get n is equal to minus half. It's not in the range 1 to infinity. Again, at equal to another 1 factor, 1 minus 2 n is equal to 0, n is equal to half. n is equal to half is a positive value, but our summation start from 1 to infinity. This is also excluded also less than 1. Therefore, confidently write this is true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. In the next step, this is nothing but my which value? n value. Next, I want to find out bn. Once you finding bn, uh, what's the formula? 1 by pi. Then I have to keep root 2 also. So, root 2 by pi, 0 to 2 pi. 
sin of x by 2 into sin nx with respect to x. This is nothing but sin a uh, sin b formula. What is my sin a sin b formula? Observe carefully. Now while taking this sin a sin b, yeah, this is sin a sin b, yeah, you know that what is 2 sin a sin b? Sin a sin b is nothing but cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Cos of a plus b. Now this is nothing but yeah, 2 sin a sin b. 2 sin a sin b is nothing but what? Half of cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. Now what we get actually here, what is my a is nothing but x by 2. What is my b is nothing but in x. In the next step, a plus b. What is my a plus b is nothing but half plus n into x. What is a minus b is nothing but half minus n into x. Just few minutes before we calculate now similarly. Okay, in the next step, this is nothing but rho or 2 is not there, multiply and divided by 2, therefore we get 2 pi 0 to 2 pi, okay, 0 to 2 pi. What is, uh, this is nothing but uh, sin of, sorry, not sin, cos of a minus b. Yeah, just a minute, this is nothing but uh, cos, not sin. sin a sin b is nothing but cos of a minus b of minus n into x minus cos of a plus b of plus n into x with respect to x and then let to evaluate this integral yeah. you know integration of cos is what sin now root 2 divided by 2 pi of Integration of cos is sin of of minus n into x divided by quotient of x of minus n. What is my limit is 0 to 2. Okay. Minus again integration of cos is sin of of plus n into x divided by quotient of x is of plus n. What's the limit? 0 to 2. Okay. Next we are going to apply upper and lower limit. Before going to applying upper and lower limit, first observe what happened for sine upper and lower limit. Now, I am consider now sine of sine of half minus n into upper limit is 2 pi. Once you take 2 pi inside the bracket, phi minus n pi. What is sine of phi minus theta? Sine of, sorry, this is 2 n pi. Yeah, once you multiply that, we get this is 2n pi. Okay. What is sine of pi minus theta? Sine of pi minus theta is sine theta. Means sine of 2n pi. What is sine sin of 2n pi value is 0. Similarly, sine of of plus n into 2 pi is nothing but sine of pi plus theta. Theta is 2n pi. Take 2n pi and say 2 to cancel. What is sine of pi plus theta is minus sine theta. But what is sine of 2n pi value is 0. And also sine 0 is 0. Observe both the term is involving sine. Upper and lower limit value is 0. Therefore, confidently write these two terms are 0. Therefore, bn is 0 for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Next, you have to construct a Fourier series. Yeah, f of x equals a naught by 2. What is my a naught? a naught is 4 root 2 divided by pi. a naught by 2 is 2, 4 is cancelled to 2 root 2 divided by pi. Yeah, a naught is actually 4 root 2 divided by pi. Therefore, 2 root 2 by pi. Plus, while writing uh, a n, just few minutes before we calculated, what is my 
an now while uh, writing uh, an now wh what we get actually now observe carefully now while writing this an I'll, I'll do it one the simple uh, simplification instead of one, one minus two n i'm writing two n minus one what we get actually we get a minus n now i'm um, this can also be written as minus 4 root 2 divided by pi divided. now i'm uh, going to take this this is a part for this one 2n plus 1 into or if you want to write 2n minus 1 first and 2n plus 1 second okay 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 observe carefully what i did here this is also correct now, for our convenience, because once you give a n is equal to 1, 2, 3, we get negative value. Okay? Why don't you convert into positive value once you put n is equal to 1, 2, 3? Therefore, how we have to convert? Take minus n outside. 1 minus 2n becomes 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1. You have a minus n. Once you multiply that, we get same thing. Okay? While substituting that, what's a constant here? 4 root 2 minus 4 root 2 by 5 is a constant. Better I to keep it outside before going to substitute the value of an. Now I have to keep the constant outside minus 4 root 2 divided by pi summation in ranging from 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1. Don't confuse why I have taken minus n outside. Once you take minus n outside, give the value of n is equal to 1 to 3 we get positive value that's why i taken because our uh, deduce part if you don't have a negative value you have 1 by 1 into 3 1 by 3 into 5 like that okay that's why what i did i take a negative sign outside from 1 minus 2n cos of nx because vn is 0 therefore entire the summation is 0 but what is our deduce part deduce part is they are not asking that you since evaluate 1 into 3 plus 1, 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 etc. I want to find out this series value. Actually is the, is the required Fourier series for the given function over cos interval 0 to 2 pi. Yeah. Okay, fine. Now, I want to deduce this. How to deduce that? Now, you compare that. Suppose you expand this uh, summation, this uh, 1 by 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1, what happened? Put n is equal to 1. What happened? 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Yeah. Put n is equal to 2. 4 minus 1 is 3 into 4 plus 1 is 5. Yeah. Next put n is equal to 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1, 5 into 7. Yeah, you look like this summation required uh, evaluation, evaluating the series only. But we don't want cos n x. I have to convert cos n x must be equal to 1. I want to retain this. I don't want this. Therefore, what's our my range? 0 to 2 pi. Therefore, what we are going to take? Put x is equal to 0. What is cos 0 is 1. Now, here in the next step, yeah. Now, here keep in mind what is my f of x is actually root 2 into sine of x pi 2. Now, in the next step, what we are going to do, if for our convenience, take it as star for this uh, Fourier series expansion. Put x is equal to 0. In star, I think clear why I have to put x is 0 because I want to convert cos and x must be 1. We get f of 0 equals 2 root 2 divided by pi minus 4 root 2 divided by pi summation in ranging from 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 since cos of 0 is 1. Now what is my f of 0? Root 2 into sin 0. What is sin 0? 0. Therefore f of 0 is 0. 
So this is zero. What I'm going to do? I take you this uh, negative term in the power left hand side. What we get? Two root two divided by pi. Now either you write LHS first, RHS uh, second. Does not matter because once you uh, shifted this term in this uh, left hand side, I'll write it. This is first must be equal to four root two divided by pi of the expanded summation. What is expansion of this? Just now we verified one by one, one into three, one by three into five, one by five into seven, etc. Now before moving to the next step, I to simplify. Observe carefully root two root two pi pi cancel here. Two ones are two two are. So what's the value of this is actually after the simplification, one by two equals. 1 by 1 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 etc. This is a value of the given, the required evaluate part. What's the value we get? 1 by 2 because pi pi cancel. Root 2 root 2 cancel then what we get actually? 1 by 2 is the answer. Now this is a way to solve the problem. Suppose function is not in the standard form. What's the function they given? Root of 1 minus cos x. First you simplify, first you convert in the standard form for the evaluation of the integral. And then have to proceed. This is a one of the different problem and also don't confuse whenever they are asking the evaluation part not 1.3, 1 into 3, 3 into 5, 5 into 7. Whenever they put dot between the two numbers, that is a multiplication between that, especially for deduce part in Oreo series. Now I move to the next problem. This is a way to evaluate this, okay? Now I told this, I think everyone is clear how we get the evaluate part. Why I taken the value of uh, The value, the value of a, uh, value of x is equal to zero. I, that part also I explained. Okay, I move to the next problem. Second today, second problem. Obtain the Fourier series of f of x equals l minus x for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to l, 0 for l less than equal to x less than equal to 2l. Hence, reduce that 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus x etra equals pi by 4. Deduce part, once you give the particular value of x, suitable value of x in between the range, the given range, given limit, then automatically we get, first you have to construct the Fourier series for the given function. This is my given function, okay. Solution. What uh, given function here? The given function is f of x is equal to l minus x for x lies between 0 to l, 0 for x lies between l to 2l. Whenever they're given in splitting function, you know that how to take our overall interval. What's overall interval is 0 to 2l. It's see, whenever start from 0 is referred to the which case? First case. What's our first case general interval also? 2L only. Therefore, now here L is equal to L only. And uh, sine pi x by L is nothing but sine pi x by L only because the value of L is equal to L. Now I have to construct the Fourier series based on the first case. Fourier series Fourier series Keep in mind 
they never start from our interval is 0, you refer to the which case? First case. Fourier series for f of x over interval 0, 2L is f of x equals a naught by 2 plus summation n ranging from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x by l and then summation n ranging from 1 to infinity b n sine of n pi x by l with respect to x. Now see not x yeah, 1 to infinity b n sine of n pi x by l where now I have to write the formula for a naught a and b n. a naught is a naught is 1 by L 0 to 2 L f of x dx. What is my a n? 1 by L 0 to 2 L f of x sine of uh, not sine cos of n pi x by L because here 0 to 2 L only the limit just like a first case and then bn what is my bn formula 1 by l 0 to 2l f of x sine of n pi x by l with respect to x next try to find out the values of a naught n and bn using the given function now here is a refer to the first case means you can't go for even a rod keep in mind the, the end of the Fourier series, don't confuse. Whenever our limits start from zero, we can't go for even our odd case. Directly to write, uh, file, uh, write the Fourier series form, formula and also write the formula for A naught, A n, etc. Now, what is A naught is 1 by L, but here is a splitting function. Therefore, 0 to L, what's the function we have? L minus X with respect to X. L to 2L, what's the function you have? 0 into dx. Now I have to neglect for this because integral value itself, uh, the function itself 0, the integral, corresponding integral value 0. Now here, most of the students simply they integrating L and X. Keep, I told in the, my previous videos, whenever having linear factor, you integrate using the fundamental integration integration of ax plus r minus b to the power of n with respect to x is nothing but ax plus r minus b to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 into the quotient of x is a. Like that, now this uh, yeah, l minus x can also be written as minus x plus l. Therefore, now what is the integration of uh, l minus x is L minus x whole square divided by 2 into quotient of x. L minus x can also be written as minus x plus L. What's the quotient of x is minus 1. What's the limit? 0 to L. Okay. Now, while applying the limit, I have to keep constant minus 2 here is constant. Apply the upper limit. What is the upper limit? L. X is L. L minus L. What is L minus L is 0. 0 whole square is 0. Minus low limit. What is low limit is 0. L minus 0. L minus 0 is L. L whole square is L square. You simplify that. We get A naught. What we get? L, L cancel minus into minus plus. L by 2 is the A naught value. A naught is what actually? L by 2. The next move to oh, find out the value of A L. Yeah. How to find out the value of a n? That's a, a n again we are going to split the integral 0 to 2 l is nothing but what? 0 to l. 0 to l what's a function you have? Uh, l minus x. Okay. L minus x into cos of n pi x by l. And then with respect to x what happened? L to 2L is 0. L to 2L is 0. Enter the term must be 0. I'm going to neglect here. No need I have to write the term. Yeah. 
Now, 1 by L, integration u, using UV rule or Bernoulli's rule, which one is U function, which one is V function. This is U, this is V because after the first derivative, L minus X becomes constant. Okay. Now, L minus X into integration of cos. What is integration of cos? It's sine of N pi X by L divided by quotient of X is N pi by L. Okay, fine. Minus, what is differentiation of L minus X is minus 1. Again, integrate. What is integration of sine is minus cos of N by X by L divided by, again we get N by X, N pi by L, we get whole square. Once we get derivative value constant, not, not necessary to move further step. We are going to stop. Before moving to the next step, I told number of times, whenever having a product of sine or cos, first you verify the corresponding upper and lower limit. Sine of n pi by l into l. What we get? Sine n pi. What is sine n pi value? 0. Similarly, cos of n pi by l into l upper limit. What we get? Cos n pi. What is cos n pi? Is minus 1 to the power of n. Therefore, now what we are going to write here, sine, upper limit sine is 0, lower limit also what we get actually, sine 0 is 0, the, the product must be 0. We are going to neglect this. Then minus into minus plus, plus into minus is minus 1 by L, yes, 1 by, uh, while applying the uh, upper end, Lower limit, now L into, this becomes reverse, N square pi square divided by L square, 1 by N square pi square by L square means N square divided by N square pi square is a constant of apply the upper limit. What's the upper limit is L? Cancel, we get minus 1 to the power of N, minus 1. You simplify that, what we get, take minus N inside, what we get? L by N square pi square of 1 minus minus 1 to the power of L. Now this is our AN. Before moving to the next step, I told number of times, verify what happened for AN for N is equal to 1, 2, 3. How to verify? Pick the denominator N factor. What is N factor? N square. N square equal to 0. When, um, if for which value of N is 0, N is equal to 0. But our summation start from 1 to infinity. Therefore, confidently write this is true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. And also one another one point I discuss all my previous videos. Whenever having inside the flower bracket, one of the term is 1, another term is minus 1 to the power of n. Commonly we get even case value and odd case value. One of the case must be 0. Then first I have to verify 1 minus of minus 1 to the power of n. Now take a odd value minus 1 minus into minus plus. Whenever put n is equal to 3, put n is equal to 3, we get minus, minus into minus plus 1. Whenever I'm going to give odd, if n is odd, what's the value is 2. Suppose n is even, minus 1 whole square becomes plus, 1 minus 1 is 0. If n is even. Even cases, if you want to put uh, n is equal to 4, minus 1 to the power of 4, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, commonly we get this value, therefore, before we move into the next step, first we are going to write the simplification form. Now, commonly we get for this is our case 2, therefore, 2L by N square by square if N is odd. 0, because this is flower bracket 0, and the product must be 0 if N is even. Okay. Now this is a way, too simple way to find out A naught, A in value. Next move to BN. BN is 1 by L of 0 to L. What's a function? L minus X into sine of N by X by L. Not necessary to take second uh, term L to 2L, what's a function if of x is 0, 0 into sine of n by x by L is 0, the enter the integral is 0. Then you go for UV rule, while taking UV rule, this is my U function, this is my V function, because after the first derivative, this is 0. L minus x is 0. 
no from uv rule what we get actually here from uv rule okay 1 by l l minus x into what is integration of sin minus cos of n by x by l divided by quotient of x is n pi by l minus what is derivative of l minus x is minus 1 again at integrate we get minus sin of n by x by l yes sin of n pi x by l divided by the quotient of x is n pi by l we get n pi by l whole square what's the limit 0 to l we already known that in the previous uh, finding a n sin is 0 put l sin n pi we get 0 put uh, lower limit is 0 the entire this factor must be Therefore, not necessary to apply the limit. We already know that. But while applying L here, we get cos n pi. Cos n pi is not equal to 0. In the next step, now to keep minus 1 by L, this L comes in numerator L by n pi of upper limit. What is my upper limit? Is L. L minus L. 0 into cos n pi. What we get cos n pi is minus 1 to the power of L because L L cancel. Minus x is 0, l minus 0, what is l minus 0 is l into cos 0, what is cos 0 is 1. Now what we get actually minus into minus plus, l l cancel, this l is remaining l by n pi. Now this is a, one of the thing l by n pi, right? Observe carefully l l cancel minus into minus plus here having another one l we get L by N pi. Yeah. This is 0. This is denominator 0 in which case N is equal to 0. But our summation start from 1 to infinity. Now confidently write Bn is true for N is equal to 1 to 3. Keep in mind, once we get A and B N, first we have to verify for what value of N denominator 0. How can you know that? Pick the denominator N factor. What is N factor? N. N is 0, only 0 denominator, but 0 is not included in the summation. Therefore, what we are going to do here, we are confidently write is true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3. What is my next? I have to construct the Fourier series. f of x is equal to a naught by 2. a naught is l by 2. a naught by 2 is l by 4. While writing uh, whatever that uh, a n, only we are going to consider an odd value even though taking odd value, keep the constant outside 2L by pi square. Only have to take odd value, n is equal to 1, 3, etc. Infinity. 1 by n square, cos of n pi x by n. Plus, plus, yeah, what's the constant while writing bn? We have L by pi, summation n ranging from 1 to infinity, 1 by n sin of n by x by n. Now, here I want to deduce, what is the deduce part? Um, this is the first I to, is the required Fourier series for the given function over or say interval 0 comma 2 n. The next step is I want to deduce some result. What's the result I want to find out now from the Fourier series expansion? I'm going to take this uh, Fourier series expansion for our convenient take it as star because I want to deduce some result here. Now what is the uh, deduce part here? The deduce part is 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5. No, alternately minus sign. Yeah. Yeah. One by one minus one by three plus one by five minus one by seven plus etc equals pi by four. 
I want to prove this. Here, one by one, one by three, like that. Here, having two terms, one is two summation, one summation having one by n square, another summation having one by n. For which one I'm going to return? This one, I don't want this one by n square because our uh, expansion is nothing but one by one. Once you put n is equal to one by one, one by uh, two, one by three, like that. I don't want one by one by one square, one by two, three square, one by five square. I don't want square of the each of the value. Therefore, this clearly get, I to convert this summation must be zero. I to convert this summation must be zero, but I want to retain this summation, but I only I required, not for I required all the values. I required only odd values. I don't want one by one, one by two, one by three. And also, in spite of that odd values, alternately I required plus, minus, plus, minus. Therefore, what's my overall interval? Zero to two n. What I'm going to choose here, I'm going to choose x is equal to l by 2. Suppose choose x is equal to l by 2, what happened? Cos of n by l by 2. L, l, l by 2 means x is l by 2, l, l cancel, what we get? Cos of n pi by 2. Cos of n pi by 2, 0 if n is odd. You already know that. Plus or minus 1 if n is even. Observe carefully, our summation is only odd values. In the odd value, what happened? Cos n pi by 2, 0. What happened? This summation must be 0. Now put uh, x is equal to pi, uh, l, l by 2. What we get actually? Sin of n pi by 2. What is sin of n pi by 2? We'll top this plus or minus 1 if n is odd. 0 if n is even. Yeah, that is suitable for our uh, result. Result, uh, they don't have any even value. They are having only odd values. Therefore, now, from this, we uh, clearly say that what is my L value is pi by 2. L is pi by 2. Please try to understand. Once you put L, x is equal to L by 2, cos n pi by 2 is 0 if n is odd. But summation is ranging from odd. Entire summation, we are confident it at 0. Now, sin n pi by 2 is uh, we get plus or minus 1 if n is odd. Therefore, I want only a uh, plus or minus 1 in the odd cases only. Therefore, that is suitable. Therefore, we go for well, what's the value of n? Put x is equal to l by 2. l by 2 also in the range 0 to 2l. l may be 1, whatever may be. l is some, l is set up, l is positive integer is already told in beginning second class of my video class yeah now this is confidently i have to say that i have to choose any value of l greater than zero definitely l by 2 must be in the range 0 to 2l in star we get yeah f of l by 2 equals f of l by 2 equals l by 4 yeah 2L by pi square for summation in ranging 1, 3, etc. to infinity, 1 by n square cos of n pi by 2 plus L by pi summation in ranging from 1 to infinity, 1 by n sine of n pi by 2. The confidently I have to write this must be 0. I want to find out f of l by 2. What is my f of x? f of x is nothing but l minus x for x lies between 0 to l. 0 x lies between l to l by 2. Okay? l to 2n. l to L to 2L. Okay. Now, L by 2 is in the range 0 to L. Therefore, what is my F of L by 2? F of L by 2, definitely L by 2 is in the range 0 to L by 2. What is my F of L by 2? L minus L by 2. What we get actually? L by 2. Okay. Next, I to substitute the value of F of L by 2 is L by 2. Okay. L by 2. Yeah. 
I take this is also in the right hand side. What we get actually minus L by 2 minus L by 4. This value is L by 2. I take a minus L by 4 in the left hand side. What we get L by 5. This is nothing but only odd value 1, 3, etc. to infinity. Then only we get uh, plus or minus some value. In rest of the case for even cases for sine of n pi by 2 is 0. Okay. Now here 1 by n sine of n pi by 2. L by 2 minus uh, what about L by 4, what we get? L by 4. Half minus 1 by half minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 only. Yeah, take it up. Yeah, now observe carefully L, L cancel. Take pi by pi as a cross multiplication. Now we get this implies pi by 4. Now take pi as cross multiplication, pi by 4 is equal to expand this summation. 1 by 1 into sine pi by 2 is 1. Put 10 is equal to 3. What is sine 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 by 3. Put n is equal to 5. Sine 5 by 2 is plus 1 by 1 by n is equal to 5. And then put 10 is equal to 7. Sine of 7, 5, 5 into pi by 2 is nothing but minus 1 into 1 by 7. This is nothing but the required expansion. This is the way I to deduce the required result from the given function. I thought this is one of uh, what about the different type of function. Overall interval itself 0 to 2 L. How to choose the value of L? Keep in mind you compare the required result to the what you construct the four year series and then compare it and choose suitable value of L. You can't choose any value of X. Choose carefully that value must be in the given interval only. Okay. I think it's clear everyone how to solve this problem uh, using a, a Fourier series expansion. Now, this is a way I, 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 I think I covered all different type of problems explained. Now, if you want, I'll uh, zoom out for this uh, problem. The entire problem is look like, because once you zoom out, no, we get very, very uh, compact form manner. Now, I want to try to show that it's possible to show it entire problem in one uh, screen. Yeah. Observe carefully here. Yeah. I can't zoom out, zoom out more than that. Observe the entire problem in one screenshot. Okay, this is a way to solve the first, second problem, and also similarly first problem. Move to first today first problem. This is my first problem. Okay, still is not uh, covered. I'll zoom out a little bit. Yeah, because this is a little bit lengthy problem. That's why. This is our uh, given problem. Now, once you zoom out this uh, too much, you are not able to see. See, this is the uh, entire problem in one uh, one uh, uh, screen visible, but it's not too uh, font size is not too big. Observe carefully. Yeah. This is the uh, entire problem. What I consider today first problem. This is. Second problem. And this is second problem. This is first problem. Yeah, just I'll give one minute time. If you want to take a screenshot and then you have to keep that and write it in the thing. Okay. Come on to second problem. I think it's clear. Thank you very much for listening my uh, video. If you have uh, any doubt, uh, free to ask the question to take my mail ID from e section. Okay. Bye. See you. Take care. Until I'll come and meet in the next half-range Fourier series class. Okay.